So this is my homemade solar tracker. Got it running in over there. This is three 270 watt panels, REC panels. I got the Suntura solar tracker controlling it with the eye up there, the sensor. I have an end phase IQ7 micro inverters. I have the Windy Nation 18 inch linear actuator running the east west axis and I have none on north south it's just manual right now. I select it with a pin right here. And powering the tracker is just 24 volt power supply. I'm getting putting a bigger one in. It'll be a 20 amp instead of a 10 amp in case I want to run the north south actuator. But pretty simple. And I have four feet of rebar reinforced concrete. Rebar goes out into the ground about two feet on an angle. I buried the trunk cable coming in from the house for the solar going in. This is actually a 2006 Chevy Silverado shock mount because the one they give you is chintzy that comes with this. And uh, that, that made me feel a lot better. The whole setup weighs about probably 250 pounds, I'd say. The actuator is good for 1500 and 750 dynamic on 24 volts. So it should have no problem with wind and everything. I might set it into a park position sometimes if it gets windy, but pretty simple. It took me a little while to build, but for the most part it was uh I did everything myself. All the wiring, the concrete, setting up the actuator. I stole someone's design, but I don't care. It's pretty awesome. And that's that. It all runs into a 20 amp double pole breaker in the service panel. And I have the IQ Envoy monitoring system with the consumption meters, the consumption transformers, and the production current transformers. So I can see what I'm producing, which is about 6 kilowatt hours a day now, end of March. And I mean, I don't use much. I use about 10 to 12 a day, if that. So it really makes a difference. Three panels, 810 watts. I peak at about 750. Well, any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments section.